Well, welcome back, y'all. So, uh, I received these leveling blocks in the last uh, live stream. Uh, I got them in the P.O. box, and I think we're gonna need them today, actually. Where I'm at here, I don't know if you guys can tell, you can kind of see, it's, it's a bit of an angle there. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna stick them under the back tires and just back up of it. See if that levels it out a little bit more. I mean, a couple inches will do great, but we'll see what happens with this. I think it should work well. Hopefully they don't slide. I did notice that they have these like holes in them. So I'm guessing if you needed to, you could stake them down, but I'm just stick her under there. And we'll see what happens when we back up. All right, y'all, well, that definitely helped. Uh, it is way more level now, <laughs> but my issue is now that tailgate's like at my belly button, so I'm gonna have to jump to get in here. I don't have a step, actually. I think I might just grab this picnic table and stick it up over here so I can step on one side of the table to get up. That's probably the best move. our dinner ingredients I think we're good to go for now wait till later to put that fan up yeah time to relax Actually, I think before I crack this open, we should probably get the fire going, but I need to grab my koozie out of here quick. Right. I'll keep this thing cold, right?
Well, the fire is cooking, so we'll crack this thing open. So I've got a Modelo Chilada Naranja Picosa with the refreshing flavors of orange and chili peppers. Never had one of these before. I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit spicy. But uh, we'll give this a whirl. Oh, well, there's been birds everywhere. I'm sure you can hear the birds, but I've been watching blue jays fly around. There was a blue jay trying to get a gopher, you know, a little like ground squirrel, the tiny little ones earlier. Ooh, that's good. That's like a spicy beer mosa. I don't know if you guys do beer mosas, but like just beer and orange juice instead of. You know, a regular mimosa, which is what, vodka and orange juice? Wait, no. Sparkling wine and orange juice? I don't know. Vodka and orange juice is a screwdriver, but yeah, it's like a, it's like a spicy orange beer. Spicy brass monkey, maybe? That tastes great on a warm day like today, but it's a little too big to fit in my cup holder. Oh, it can go on the back side. Well, it's a beautiful night. This campground is filling up. Somebody did come in and put a tent over there on the other side of this little area. Somebody's got a camper pretty close. Now I can see three trucks right there. And there's been constant traffic through here. But for now, y'all, it's time to just chill and enjoy this orange cerveza. Spicy orange cerveza. All right, y'all, so we're gonna make some um, foil-wrapped Italian bread pizza. I don't know, it looks pretty interesting. And we're gonna give it a little bit of a twist here. Just gonna use half of it, which is probably too much, but it smells so good. I don't really have the proper knife for this, but.
Got pizza sauce. Let me give this a shake. It's been in the fridge for a minute. I like it extra saucy. I am completely out of paper towels right now. Forgot to reload the ones in the truck. I might have to see if I have any uh, napkins in the actual truck itself. All right, we're sauced up. We've got some Colby Pepper Jack cheese that we're gonna throw on here. This is just straight up sliced cheese. Cheese on both sides, as usual. There we go. And then we've got some Canadian bacon here, which we're gonna throw on top of this. Well, Matt's out here getting me again. I've got the campfire going, I've got the thermocell going, and I've got the citronella candle going. One for me. And the only thing that are bothering me are these super tiny little gnats. Okay, so we've got the Canadian bacon on there, we've got the cheese on there, we've got the sauce on there, and on top of this, we are gonna put some pieces of pineapple. I have never had pineapple on a real pizza, so why not throw them into a sandwich? Ooh, it's like a... I don't know how crazy I want to get with this. Oh, I don't want the juice on there. We'll just do it by hand, caveman style. I don't think I need quite terribly much on there, but we're just going to send it couple more pieces and there we go cover that up just so the bugs don't get in there and we're gonna slap this thing together without spilling it everywhere wrap it up and toss it on the fire Oop, only lost one there we go Wrap that again just for good measure. All right, we've got our big pizza burrito here. And we're gonna give this, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes each side right down in the coals. Oh, I forgot the Pam cooking spray on there. I was going to spray the inside of the foil with Pam. I guess we'll just see what happens. Y'all, I can hear it like sizzling. I think I have a leak in the tin foil, but either way, I believe it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that sucker. Ooh. All right, what do we have 
here. Make sure I get my thermosil. And my candle down here. All right. Let's see what this is all about. Let's see if it pairs with my spicy drink. That looks ooey gooey and it smells amazing. Ooh, and I think I got it a little bit crispy. <laughs> oh man. Hmm. Well, y'all, it's a little burnt, but we're gonna dive into this guy anyways and see what it's all about. Here. If we can even cut it. The bottom doesn't look quite as bad. Ooh, I'm leaking. I'm leaking Canadian bacons everywhere. Look at that cheese, that melty cheese though. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have put it on the grill portion and not directly into the coals. Or maybe I just gave it too long. But you can see it's a little crispy on the outside. That's hot. It's hot, but it's good. I'm losing all my meats out the end of it. They're just oozing out. I'm more curious about the pineapple. Do I, do I have any pineapple here? I don't know. I don't know. It still tastes good. Oh, there's pineapple right there. That is definitely a different flavor. I don't hate it. I think I need to try it on some real pizza. Well, despite this being a little crispy on the outside, it still tastes really good. I'm satisfied. It can't always turn out perfect, but as long as it tastes fine, I just got the extra crispy crust. Now that I've mushed the sandwich goo everywhere. Pineapple, stop falling out. It's so gooey and messy. Scraped off a little bit of the burnt. Well, y'all. Despite being extra crispy, I think it tasted just fine. Um, and inside the sandwich, I couldn't really taste pineapple. If I took a piece of pineapple out, you could taste it, but in the sandwich, you couldn't really taste, taste anything from that. Uh, but I do definitely want to try that on a pizza at some point in the future. I guess my, my lesson learned on that one is it was probably would have been fine to place it on the actual grill rack and let it cook that way. It did not need to be down into the coals. But anyways, guys, I'm going to get this junk cleaned up and I'm going to get crawled into the truck because it has gotten quite dark out. So stay tuned. We'll get ourselves a movie going. see it yeah I think so I did to get the fan going earlier uh, try to keep the bugs out of here a little bit more with the breeze blowing through let's go ahead and put this stuff away and shut that off let her cool down man this thing has been great but I have just been sipping on it uh, good Good spicy orange juice right there. 
coolest hat ever. All right, guys. Let's get this moved. Well, my thermometer is saying 78 degrees in here right now. It doesn't feel terrible, honestly. Uh, it was kind of weird. For a few minutes out there, it was getting foggy, which is kind of odd. Like this time of year, I feel like, especially this time of night. But I suppose anything can happen, right? I didn't download anything new uh, in the last couple of days, so we'll see what I've got left on here. Oh, okay. I downloaded The Wolf of Wall Street a few days ago. I'm watching that. Uh, I don't know if... I think probably a lot of you have seen this. Leonardo DiCaprio delivers the best performance of his career. As a young stockbroker hungry for the life of non-stop thrills where corruption was king, and more was never enough. Uh, it's a great movie. I've seen it a couple of times, but it's been a while. It's on Amazon Prime right now, so we're going to check this out. hear all the birds out there? Let me turn the light on. That's bright. Well, this camera doesn't do it justice, but it's getting light out there, I guess. And the birds are going crazy right now. It's 5.30 in the morning. Ugh. some coffee? I could go for a cup of coffee. Let's do some coffee. Oh, we'll try that French press. I haven't tried the French press that I got in the mail. Alright. Let's make some coffee. Sunrise. That's beautiful out here. Beautiful morning. Drop it if I'm not careful. Oh. All right, also, we've got this French press that I got in the P.O. box along with the coffee. 
and I have not tried this yet, so we're gonna give this a shot. It's some Jack Daniels coffee and and the French press. sealed. Whew. That'll clear your sinuses. Has a bit of a chocolatey smell to it. I'll use two scoops. I think that should be enough for this. Is already boiling. Right. There's probably way too many coffee grounds, way too much. I think one scoop would have been all right. I guess if you guys missed the last live stream, this came in the mail. Thank you for this, y'all. This is crazy Quady. All right, I think this thing is about good to go. Good to go, good to go. I'm gonna give her a, give her a push. Turn this to pour. Let's see what we got. Got ourselves a nicely brewed cup of joe. Well, let's go ahead and get our chair and stuff cleaned up out here. I gotta rinse this out quick. Obviously not tasting any whiskey in this, but to me it smells chocolatey. Don't really taste that much out of it, but it's got that smell to it. Everything in here is rattling around, including you guys on the camera. <laughs> well, y'all, had a great night last night. Even if I burned dinner, uh, it was just the outside of the bread. It wasn't too terribly bad, but I could have definitely done better on that. 
overall it was a great night and uh, I enjoyed myself the temperature wasn't bad like my truck currently says 64 degrees so yeah it's been pretty nice out actually all things considered but I'm gonna get headed on down the road like I said it's uh we're coming up on 4th of July weekend so the campgrounds are pretty dang busy so I don't know what I'm gonna do uh, as far as the next video goes I might actually uh, get started on one of the projects that I I keep putting off uh, or maybe we'll just see dang it's bouncing you guys around or maybe we'll just see if we can get the old turd of a boat running and take that out and do some fishing who knows but anyways y'all i hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned for the next adventure and i'll see you in a bit and the sun is just coming up behind me beautiful